Teruel, one of the smallest provincial capitals in Spain. It is also one of the most beautiful cities in the entire peninsula. With its mix of Mudiger and medieval architecture, it offers a journey back in time to those who visit it. The cobblestone streets, old towers and the picturesque squares create a cozy and mysterious atmosphere. And if you find these videos informing and entertaining, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so we can bring you more amazing content like this. One of the greatest monuments of this city is without a doubt its cathedral. The Cathedral of Teruel, also known as the Cathedral of Santa Maria de Mediavilla, is a masterpiece of Mudujer art. Located in the center of the historical part of the city. It is dedicated to the Virgin in the mystery of the Assumption. Since 1577, the cathedral has been the diocese of Teruel. On the outside, we can see the Mudujer style of the cathedral in detail. The neo mudujer facade, built in 1909, is of great beauty and detail. The dome was designed in 1537 by the master Juan Lucas Botero, who had been the architect of the Mudujer Dome on squinches of the Seo de Zaragoza. In the description of this video I'm giving you the direct link to the video about the Seo de Zaragoza. The cathedral is impressive, but what is most striking about its exterior, it is its bell tower, the oldest of the city's Mudujer towers dating back from 1257. In it, you can see an alternation of stone, brick and glazed ceramics that produce a fantastic visual effect. The large pointed arch open at the bottom gives way to the street, allowing it to serve as a public passage, one of the most characteristic solutions of Mudajer urban planning. The interior of the cathedral is accessed through the modernist doorway made by Pablo Monguillo at the beginning of the 20th century. The cathedral consists of three naves and among the various elements that make it up, one of the most impressive is the wooden ceiling. It is considered the jewel of the cathedral. It completely covers the central nave, originally from the 13th century, represents religious and everyday scenes considered a systematic and original repertoire of knowledge of the time. It is without a doubt one of the best Mudujer ceilings in Europe. The main altarpiece is a magnificent work by the French sculptor Gabriel Joly, dating from the 16th century. It is a central piece of a great artistic value, with detailed wood carvings that narrate scenes from the life of Christ and the Virgin Mary, and which receives light from the imposing dome. The altarpiece is considered one of the best sculptural ensembles with Renaissance signs in the region of Aragon. Already in the plateresque Mudujer style, the dome of the central nave was built in 1538. With an octagonal plan on skinches, the work of Martin de Montalban. 
The chapels of the cathedral, decorated with frescoes and altars, offer a tour of various artistic styles, ranging from Gothic to Renaissance and even Baroque. One of the most striking chapels is the Coronation Chapel, which houses a magnificent Gothic-style altarpiece from the 15th century. It is a Hispano-Flemish piece, the most important pictorial work in the cathedral made by an unknown artist. The Chapel of the Immaculate Conception, it dates back to the 18th century, thanks to the fact that Bishop Pérez Prado had built it. In the center of the altarpiece, the work of sculptor Francisco Moya, lies a beautiful image of the Virgin flanked by Saint Joachim and Saint Anne. In front of this chapel is the staircase that goes down to the crypt. The chapel of the Holy Kings, whose altarpiece is Baroque, has in the center the adoration of the kings, being a copy of the painting by Rubens that exists in the Prado Museum. Other chapels can also be admired, such as that of Santa Emerenciana from the 18th century, patron saint of the city and the diocese, and those of Santa Agueda and Santo Tomás de Villanueva, both from the end of the 17th century. In the chapel de la Virgen de los Desamparados, the great processional monstrance is displayed a work in silver by the Cordoban goldsmith Bernabe García de los Reyes from 1742. And before leaving this last chapel, you must stop and admire the choir railing. It is the main manifestation of flamboyant Gothic in Teruel. This masterpiece by Cañamache was built in 1491. After contemplating every corner of this beautiful cathedral, we must highlight that both the tower and the Mudujer roof of the cathedral were declared World Heritage Sites by UNESCO in 1986. That is why, if you come to Teruel, you cannot miss this interesting visit to one of the most important Mudejer monuments in Spain. My name is Alex Moradas. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, share and definitely subscribe to find out more amazing places to visit before you come to Spain.